In this video, I'm going to be going over the best free video editing apps for Android. Each of these editors will allow you to make videos straight from your Android phone or tablet. Whether you're a YouTuber, a filmmaker, or you just want to make videos for fun, I'm going to be going over the pros and cons of each video editing app. So by the end of this video, you know which app is perfect for you. Now, since there's so many apps to choose from, I set out a list of criteria that each of these apps on the list must meet. So first of all, each of these free video editing apps must have all basic functionality. So you have to be able to add clips, cut them up, add text and export a final product. Second, none of these apps can have any sort of watermarks. It doesn't matter if the watermark is big or small in the corner or in the middle. If there's a watermark, that app is not going to be making this list. And finally, not everyone has the latest smartphone or tablet. So I'm going to be testing all of these devices on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A, which is a medium to low end tablet. And they have to be able to run smoothly on this tablet as well. Now, if you guys do wanna see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first app on this list is CapCut. And in my opinion, CapCut is the best video editing app for YouTubers. This is because of course it has all of the basic functions such as being able to add text and cut clips and then export a final product. But there's also more advanced features that you can take advantage of as a YouTuber, such as being able to do green screening as well as do picture in picture. So if you're somebody who makes reaction videos or gaming videos with a face cam, you can make those videos straight from this app. The other great thing about CapCut is that there is no paywall. So once you download CapCut, you get all of the features for free. And there's also a version for PC. I believe it's a Chrome extension that you can get. So you can transfer your skills over there as well. Now, one thing I would say about CapCut is that it's a little bit less intuitive and there is a learning curve. But once you get the hang of it, it should be really easy to edit your videos within the app. But overall, CapCut is a great option if you just want to download something and have access to all of the features right away. Now, the second video editing app on this list is InShot. And InShot has a free version and a pro version. And the free version does have a watermark, but if you watch an ad and spend 30 seconds watching the ad, then you can just remove the watermark. So in my books, that means that if you're willing to wait 30 seconds, this is a free video editor that also has no watermark. Now InShot, in my opinion, is the best layer-based video editor on this list. So if you wanted to stack a bunch of photos or videos on top of each other, this is a great option. On top of that, I would also say that InShot is great if you want to make mobile videos. So for example, if you're posting to TikTok or Instagram, the editor is very easy to use to make those sorts of short videos. And within the free version of the editor, you can do all of the basic features as well as add text, music, filters, and some basic effects. What you don't get access to is the more advanced stickers, graphics, and transitions. But within the free version, you can still make complete videos. And it's a great option if you want to do layer-based editing or you want to post to other social media platforms such as Instagram or TikTok. Now, before we move on to the next editor, I just wanted to give a shout out to Skillshare, which is the sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is an online education platform where you can take as many courses as you want for a monthly or annual fee. It's a great resource if you're a new content creator or filmmaker because you can access unlimited courses without paying any additional money. And they have courses on a ton of different topics, including video editing, content creation, storytelling, graphic design, and much, much more. Now, as you guys may know, one course I've been really into is a course on video storytelling and the psychology behind engaging content and how you can apply those principles on YouTube. And it's made by the video editor of Yes Theory. So I've been really, really into that course and I would highly Highly recommend it if you're a new YouTuber. And if you are interested, the first 1,000 people to click the link down below in the description will get a free trial to the Skillshare Premium membership. Anyways, back to the video. Next up on the list is Vlo or VLLO. I'm just gonna call it Vlo, but basically Vlo is a great editor that's fairly easy to use. And I would highly recommend it if you're someone who wants to make videos that aren't too fancy. Like I said, this is a great simple editor. So within the free version, you can add your clips, cut them up, put them together, add some text basic transitions, and then call it a day. Now there are no watermarks in the free version, but with the pro version, you'll also get access to a bunch of stickers, graphics, animated transitions, 
effects, and much, much more. Like I said, I think Vlo is the best editor if you wanna make simple videos without doing anything too fancy because it has all of the core functionality that you need and it is fairly easy to use. And the final video editor on the list is GoPro Quick. And GoPro Quick is probably the most fun and simple editor on this list. You can make videos up to 1080p 60fps and upload them to YouTube, but this app was intended for people to add their GoPro footage. So it's really optimized for creating films that you're really going to be saving as memories. So with that being said, within GoPro Quick, you can of course add your clips and put them together, but you can also do things such as add different filters and stickers, as well as royalty-free music from their library. Now, this is also a very easy editor to use because it's not meant for very advanced filmmaking, but this is a great option if you wanted a video editor to save your memories and to create films that you can use to remember on some of your great days. But that's about it for this video. Hopefully you did find an editor that you're going to be using. And if you did, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. But that's about it. If you guys did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.